Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Libby and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about my 2022 goals. Um, so I wrote down some goals a few weeks ago and I've kind of been brainstorming um, and adding to those goals. And I just wanted to share them with you guys and wanted to hear what your 2022 goals are, um, whether they be small or large, specific, or a little bit more um, vague. I still kind of want to hear what you guys have planned um, and see if we can start to work towards some of these goals as the new year rings in. I do want to go ahead and start this video with a little bit of a like a life update. Um, and I think some of you have probably already seen on my Instagram or Facebook what's been going on. Um, but to kind of <laughs> let you guys in a little bit more, a couple weeks ago, um, couple days before Christmas, my cat actually went missing. So my cat Spooky that you probably heard me talk about, he's a chunky gray cat, um, very, very friendly. He is an indoor outdoor cat. So he goes potty outside and he eats his food outside, but then he usually sleeps on my bed throughout the day and he sleeps in my bed at night. Um, and it was Wednesday, the Wednesday before Christmas on the 23rd. He went out at night. Um, he had been on my bed just laying there and I was petting him. So I took his collar off, which I don't do too regularly, but I happened to do it this time. Um, and then he went outside kind of to go potty before bed. And um, I heard him scare this big black cat out of our yard, this kind of mean black cat. I heard him um, kind of scare him out because the black cat's really loud. So I went out with a flashlight and I think I accidentally shined it in his eyes, which I really didn't think anything of, but we haven't seen him since. So I don't know if it just kind of spooked him or what happened, but he's been gone for a couple weeks now. Um, I've put up over 120 flyers in different mailboxes and posted them around the neighborhood. Talked to a lot of neighbors. A lot of neighbors helped us look for him. Um, I filed a missing report. He is microchipped, so he's not wearing his collar, but he is microchipped, which is great. Um, and I filed a missing report with his microchip company with the Washoe, which is like the Reno County shelter, um, a missing report with them. And then also there's a lot of really awesome Reno and Sparks Nevada Facebook pages for lost pets. There's like four of them and a lot of people reshare your post, which is really great. Like over a hundred people reshared the post of him on one of the pages and I've posted a couple of times. So We've had, you know, some neighbors reach out. I actually had a lady yesterday that lives in the neighborhood, like the street behind us, um, call the microchip service and say that they found him. So we went over and looked and it was not him. <laughs> it was like a really fluffy cat. And I am laughing, but I've been crying a lot recently. Um, I'm laughing because it was a very fluffy cat. And Pookie Spooky is like a short haired cat. And she just, the neighbor was so sweet. She's like a little quirky, but very sweet. And she's like, oh my gosh, it's not him. And I'm like, no. But I told her, I was like, do you want me to bring this cat to the shelter? Cause I can, like, thank you for catching him. You know, thinking, cause she got a flyer. So she was thinking like, oh, it might be him. And there's a picture of him on the flyer. But anyways, so we kept the alert out on his microchip service company. Um, I called them back and let them know he's still missing. So like I said, I'm kind of giggling now, but um, it's been a very tough couple weeks just to be kind of candid with you guys. Um, when I'm sure some of you have gone through kind of like losing pets or having pets pass away. I've never lost a pet before, like not had them come home. Um, and just the unknown of it has been kind of hard to look forward to the next couple months in this year. I'm a very visual person, so thinking about like the next couple months, I think about like picture wise in my mind, like, and I picture my pets being there, you know, and kind of doing the hobbies I want to do and the goals I have. And so to have this unknown in this blank space in my mind has been really difficult the past couple weeks to kind of get excited about things. And I think it's just difficult not knowing if he's going to come home. Like a lot of people have had stories of like, oh, after three months, my cat came home. And then there's a lot of people posting on those pages that they're still missing their animals, you know? Um, and I think I've walked the neighborhood several times and I drive the neighborhood every day. Um, and he's a very responsive cat. If you call his name, he'll like come running. So I think somebody probably has him um, because he's so friendly. They probably have him in their home and they haven't taken him to a vet or anything. So 
just encourage you guys, if you find a pet, you know, that doesn't have a collar, please see if they're microchipped because there's a vet right outside our neighborhood that's aware that he's missing. And if they scan the chip, they'll see, you know, that I'm looking for him. So I just think somebody probably got him out of the cold and things like, oh, he's so lovey. I'll keep him for a while. So hopefully he's in a good place. That's really the only thing I can hope for right now is that he's getting fed, <laughs> even though he's on a specific diet that he's supposed to be on. He's probably gaining weight right now. <laughs> but I just really hope he's safe somewhere and warm. Um, and eventually, if you guys can just keep him in your prayers, eventually he'll come home to me. So I'm gonna go over my goals here. Enough of the tearing up. Um, just wanted to give you guys kind of that backstory because I have a list of my 2022 goals, kind of broader goals. And then I also have um, kind of a manifesting journal. And the first thing on there is having Spooky come home. So I kind of want to address that to start. And if I seem like I'm a little bit down, like I said, it's been, it was a great Christmas. You know, I have great friends and family, but it definitely has been difficult missing him um, and kind of just not knowing what the future holds if he'll come home. So all I can do is keep praying, keep my fingers crossed and hoping for the best. But okay, so I've got two journals here. Like I said, I've got kind of a manifesting journal recently. Um, I've kind of been wanting to write down the things that I want out of this year and out of the next few weeks and months. I've had this journal for a while, but clearly I got it on sale at Marshall's. Um, and then I've got kind of my bigger goals journal. This is also my costume line journal for ideas and designs. Um, but I just want to read off some goals to you guys. And hopefully if this inspires anybody or if you guys have comments that you want to list down below about what your goals are, we can kind of bounce ideas off of each other. Sometimes it's hard for me to like daydream, especially if I'm in kind of a funk, um, you know, daydream about what I want out of this year. Um, so hearing other people say kind of what they're looking towards will possibly help me or others. So, um, okay, the, a lot of these are like tangible financial goals just because quitting my corporate job last year like I kind of knew what my income was going to be and now doing kind of content creating what I do now um, I wanted to write down some more substantial goals so I'm not going to give exact numbers here um, but one of the goals a couple of the goals are actually on different content platforms making a certain dollar amount and really striving to produce enough content to make that amount and interact with people because I think towards the end of this year I kind of got slacking in interacting with people that subscribe to my pages um when if I was more on top of that and interacting more I think kind of the content would be easier to make and hopefully the financial outcome you know be a little bit more substantial so that's kind of a lot of the goals on here um buying my first investment property is on here that might be kind of a stretch goal I've been playing around with a couple ideas. We are currently renting a house that I really like and I've met the owner um, there. He's very sweet. Him and his wife are from like the Bay Area and then they moved here and they own a couple different properties. So I actually just recently sent him a letter kind of asking what their plans are for the house. If it's if they would potentially be <clears throat> excuse me. I'm also congested right now, probably from crying. <laughs> But um, <laughs> they would potentially be interested in selling since I know this isn't like their only property. Um, I don't know if they have plans for this down the road, this house. Um, and kind of just wondering if in the next few years they might be interested in selling or kind of just picking their brain because we love renting this house. Um, it's an amazing house. I wouldn't mind possibly buying it and having a lower mortgage and then being able to take um, you know, equity out of the house and buy an investment property. So many of you probably know, but first time homeowners, you don't have to put that much down. It's usually like six to 15% for an investment property, a property that you're not going to live in, that you're going to use as a rental or Airbnb. It's usually, I think the lowest is 15% down payment on the house. Um, but it's usually more around 20%, which is a substantial amount. And where I'm looking to possibly buy a place in the next couple of years would probably be a touristy town like Salem, Massachusetts, or you know, Incline Village in Tahoe, somewhere like that, which are more expensive places. Um, and so I think maybe being able to have a first purchase under my belt um, and kind of snowball after that is what I'm kind of looking towards. And the house we're renting now, I'm just interested in possibly knowing what the options are for that. So 
Like I said, first-time investment property is on this list. I don't know if the market will support that because I know how crazy it is right now. Um, but I wanted to kind of have a stretch goal and have that in my mind so I can be looking at properties. Like when I go to Salem in a couple months, I'm going to be taking pictures of the different streets that I like and the different houses that I think are interesting, kind of what style I like um, and what location might be good, just to already start to get my brain thinking about that. Um, and then a couple other goals on here, debuting my costume line in August of 2022. So still coming along with that. Um, uh, I think I have like eight costumes mostly done and I think I'm going to have 12 to 15. I just have been adding more. I've been getting them done quicker than I thought I would. Um, and so I've been kind of adding more and more the way the costumes work, work, there's like one of each size and they are all corset style. So they can range probably from like small to large, maybe XL. With being kind of my first go at it, unfortunately I don't have that much room to do a variety of sizes and be as inclusive as I would like to be. Um, but I think I also wanna have an option on the website for custom made things where I have measurements, take measurements of what somebody wants, um, the style they're looking for, if they have a character in mind. Um, so I can really tailor it to somebody and make a custom made piece. So. There's a lot of thoughts going into that. I've already kind of started on a website and trying to see what layouts I like, um, but I'm still moving in that direction. You guys will hear a lot more about that when I'm ready, <laughs> when I'm ready to get into more detail. But uh, touring Salem is on my list, which I already have planned for February, early February, and then getting my credit score to a certain number. I don't have bad credit. I used to have bad credit because I didn't know I had a student loan for a while. Um, and I've worked it up and then it does fluctuate a little bit and I'd like it a little bit higher, especially as I look towards purchasing a house. So that is kind of my, like this are, these are my goals journal. This is a super important journal to me. Um, this one is a little bit more like daily thoughts almost. And I wrote down some things I wanted to kind of manifest or pray about. Um, and this was on 12, 28. So just a couple days ago, but five days since my cat went missing. So a lot of this was on my mind and I, I'm a person that I have a lot, <laughs> a lot of chaos going on in my mind. So I feel like if I write it down, number one, it makes it feel more real and more, I don't want to say tangible, but it helps me get it out onto paper instead of it feeling like fluttery chaos in my mind. It feels more like, okay, this is a thought. This is something I want. This is something I can put energy into and focus on. Um, when I don't put things down on paper or write to-do lists, I get a little scatterbrained and overwhelmed. Um, even though I don't feel overwhelmed all the time, I kind of know like I'm not as focused as I could be. So I really enjoy writing things down. So uh, the first thing on here is that Spooky Comes Home. Again, like I said, this is a like a manifesting journal. If you guys can see that. So I'm kind of trying to like hope things into being um, and praying about different things. Um, that the costume line is successful. That's another item on here. Um, a big one is health and happiness of our home and the inhabitants in our home. <laughs> so me, my roommate, our two dogs, and my cat, um, just the health and happiness of all of us. We keep saying, my roommate and I keep saying um, something, I, a saying I kind of like to bring up here and there, but if you're happy, our home is happy, I'm happy. So it's kind of just like a triangle of taking care of each other um, and making sure the home and by home, I mean everybody in it prospers. So um, that's kind of a big one on here and something I'm really going to try to focus on for 2022. Um, financial freedom and being debt free. I'm not including student loans in that because I still have student loans from college. Um, I was on financial aid in college, so I do have loans from that, but financial freedom as in um, just paying down the rest of my credit card and then feeling the freedom to um, not be super strict, but also not be wild with what I buy, if that makes sense. Sometimes I will have too much financial freedom in a way that I just purchase too many things that I don't necessarily need or I'm going to have long term. And so I kind of bind myself by then being worried that I spent all this money and I have debt now and I put it on my credit card and I shouldn't have, I should really just be spending, you know, groceries and things like that. So financial freedom in a way of really lifting that weight off my shoulders and not thinking about my finances 24 seven, um, which might mean that I am tailoring what I spend money on um, that might 
give me in turn more financial freedom and the feeling of ease with my finances. So that was jumbled. I know I just jabbed my jaws as Jade the Libra would say. I don't know if that made any sense, but hopefully it did. Um, traveling a little bit more. So a couple of fun places that I'm going this year. We're going to Vegas um, in a couple of weeks, actually, at the end of January, and then Salem in February. And then the big present to my roommate was that I said we could go see the Northern Lights this year, which will probably not be this season because it ends in April, but thinking September through next April sometime. Um, I was planning on flying, but he had the fun idea of taking the dogs and actually road tripping because it's only a couple days of a road trip. It could be like a week if we want to, you know, plan it out and stop different places, but just going up through, I actually think it has us go east a little bit through some of uh, like those states, Montana and stuff, and then up. So I don't know exactly, but Northern Lights are definitely on here. It's a place that I've, we we're thinking Alaska, um, but it's something I've wanted to see for a long time. And I know Anchorage is a cool place to go visit, so that might be one of our options, but that's going to be a fun trip on here that I'm looking forward to. Um, get on an exercise. Get more into an exercise routine is another one here. So I'm not like really for, personally, I'm not for having like a like set goal. Like I want to lose this much weight. Like sometimes I do that, but with this particular item, it's more like I want to just have more of a daily routine of exercise. Um, because I enjoy running, but I haven't really gotten back into a routine since having my breasts done. So that's something that I'd like to look forward to is just having that routine, you know, make my bed in the morning, go work out, go for a quick run, you know, do some kettlebell swings, just something more regular um, so that I feel like I've got a routine because that's kind of where I thrive the most. Um, work harder slash smarter. So not just working harder to work harder, but to work smarter as well. Um, and then in turn, I have an arrow going back to financial freedom that if I work harder slash smarter, um, that'll kind of cause more financial freedom and be able to do more things in my life that I want to do. Uh, investment properties on here. This is a stretch goal, but I would love to be able to work with a horror company, horror company. Um, I've seen so many people that I follow and look up to. Um, that are spooky friends and, you know, spooky YouTubers, things like that, that get the opportunity to work with different companies, whether it be like Spirit Halloween or a makeup company, something like that. So not sure what direction I'd want to go in yet, but that's, you know, manifesting journal. So stretch goal on here. Um, mental and physical health of my family members. Again, trying to manifest like that. I know I can't control my family members, but I try to reach out and help as much as I can. So just kind of wishing them the best coming into this new year. And then the last one, um, I've played around with it a lot and I haven't, there's been times in my life when I have done it more and times when I haven't, but impact in the community, especially with my cat going missing, I'm seeing how many people have reposted that and really, you know, reshared that, how many neighbors have come out and tried to help me look for them. Um, and the shelter, I go to the shelter a lot and just kind of look at all the cats that are there. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe volunteering there. I used to volunteer at a shelter um, back in college, and then I worked for the Boys and Girls Club for a little while and volunteered there. So just being able to have an impact in the community does mean something to me, and it makes me just feel better in general. Um, it's not that it's selfish, but it makes me feel better about myself, but then I also know I'm giving back, so that makes, you know, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I am blessed in so many different aspects of my life that being able to give back in certain ways feels like just something I should be doing regularly. Um, so I'm going to probably try to find an organization that I like. Like I said, I do like the shelter here, um, and they take really good care of the animals. It's super clean. So I might try to volunteer some time there, but if you guys have any cool, like volunteer projects that you're a part of, please let me know. I would love to hear that and kind of get some ideas or if it's something that I could partake in as well. So anyways, those are just the goals I have written down for right now. I'm sure I've got a lot more this year, but those are a couple of them. And thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Like I mentioned, if you have any really cool goals or just anything you want to share, um, please share in the comments. I know that we are a small gathering of people on my YouTube, but I appreciate it so much that you guys tune in um, and I'd like to hear about your lives as well. So please keep Spooky in your prayers. I miss him very much and I will give you guys an update if anything happens, if he comes home. Um, and then I'm going to be posting more this year. I've got it in my schedule, different ideas for videos. So thank you again for tuning in and please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys. Bye.